Hello and Assalamu Alaikum everyone. Welcome to the new video of uh, Revit Structure. Today I'm going to tell you that how you can create isolated foundation below your grid columns. For that you first need to go to your footing level. This is the most important uh, step. First step is go to footing level <coughs> because you are going to make your a foundation in your footing level not ground first floor other than other than footing level okay so then you have the structure tab and in structure tab you have these foundations <coughs> you have walls related slab slab is normally mat foundation or raft foundation so as we know that we are having these <coughs> columns so we will need isolated foundation for that so I've selected that you can see in properties we have <coughs> this 72 by 48 by 18 inches of standard footing uh, I have collected and uh, there is an offset I do not need this offset you will not have this I'll show you why I did this uh, before <coughs> so now as you can see that you have column here and you can click it and your uh, foundation is placed right away now you need to make your work easier and you want to place below all the uh, <coughs> you know columns so for that just click add columns and select all and voila you have all of your foundations placed at the right place click finish see it in three click here and right now you are having all of your foundations on their places <coughs> you want to see it in <coughs> east here you have below footing level underground okay now <coughs> you want it uh, lean concrete beneath this uh, foundation normally we have one uh, it is normally three to four inches in depth so I'll just click lean concrete is actually uh, concrete that is uh, beneath this uh, um, foundation so I want to have that one for that I'll just select isolated footing so now so the polygon is at 100 okay uh, okay sorry for that so I'm gonna click edit type here I'm gonna select duplicate and I say lean concrete and it just say that I have one and duplicate <coughs> lean concrete one okay so as I know that I have width of 48 inches and I want 2 inches extend on both sides so I'll just say 52 inches enter <coughs> length of uh, 72 inches means 76 inches here got it and 3 inches of thickness click enter and ok <coughs> now the problem is you want it below this actual foundation and if you put it right now <coughs> in footing level and if you click it isolated footing and you click it here like that it will not be where you want it I'll show you not here it is actually there because there is an offset of one feet six inches I have given this before <coughs> so if I click it here no I want to put in footing level and then I'll just place it here like that and like that and like that you can use array command <coughs> to make all of this 
thing happened or you can just do it like that it depends on you okay so this was all about your footings if you have any type of question ask me bye bye for now